Hey, what's up guys? Exalted here, and in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be spectating some random players in some solo games and seeing what we can learn from their mistakes and the good things that we do. Now, specifically, since there's a new Batman update, what I want to do is I want to go to the new Tilted Towers, which is also called Gotham City, and I think this is a really cool place because a few of the buildings are really similar to the old original Tilted Towers, which I really like, but there's also a lot of interesting new items that you can use in really cool different ways. Now, the best players in Fortnite are the ones that can adapt the quickest, so I want to see how these players are using these new Batman items to their advantage so that we can learn how to adapt with these items quicker so we know how to counter our opponents that are using them and so that we know how to use them effectively against our opponents. Now, really quickly before I get into it, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, hit that sub button. I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and land in the new Tilted Towers. I'm really excited to see what these players do. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of players landing here, because honestly, this Tilted Towers is not too bad considering the old kind of revamps of Tilted Towers that they've done. I like this by far the most out of like the Wild Wild West and stuff like that. Of course, I like the OG Tilted Towers the most, but this one isn't too bad. I'll go ahead and skip to where I die to somebody and we'll start spectating. All right, we died to Papa Bear's daddy. Let's go ahead and see what he does. There are a few people in this building, and this is one of the buildings. Nice. Okay, he did a few really good things there. This is one of the buildings that uh, is pretty OG to the original Tilted Towers, which I really like. Now, what Papa Bear's daddy did in that situation that was really good was he actually had left peak. So he did not have the advantage in that fight. The opposing player did. What he did is he was ready to free fire his opponent. Good shots. Um, so because he has a worse angle than his opponent had, what he was doing is he was shooting before he turned the corner so that his shots were ready to hit his opponent once either of them got into a viewing range of each other. So when you guys do have left peak, you're going to want to spray a little earlier. You're going to want to pre-fire so that you're ready for the opponent to uh, walk into your shots. Papa Bear's daddy actually looks like a controller player as he is scrolling through his weapons. He got this player weak. Now the problem with these staircases is they are all left peak staircases, so they could be bad. GG's. He missed that suicide shot. If he hit that suicide shot, that would have been perfect. He honestly played that really, really well. He didn't want to go up those uh, stairs because, like I said, the left peak. Right hand peak is so, so strong when you guys are playing Fortnite. It's practically overpowered. So try not to take left hand peaks. You'll most likely die because your opponent can see you before you can see them. GG's to Papa Bear's daddy. He actually played that really, really well for what he had. Oh, he's definitely dead here. Oh, wow. TTV side. That was a really nice play. So, by the opponent right there, that was a bad use of the new, uh, I guess, the weapon. Oh. Oh my gosh. Good kill. He saw his opponent was boxed up. Just got an easy kill. He's going to go ahead and look like... Looks like he's going to go ahead and box here. He's pretty low on mats. So he's going to need to kill his opponent ASAP. Nice by Sai. This is a really bad situation for him. He's going to go ahead and make sure all the walls are his. All right, so far back to what uh, Papa Bear did is what he did really well is he was out of mats and he noticed that. So he W keyed the player first to eliminate one out of the situation instead of getting two players weak and uh, end up still getting shot by both the players. So he completely changed directions, went for one specific player, eliminated him, and then he was able to get the easy elimination in the 1v1. So he was just eliminating players kind of one at a time as opposed to trying to kill both of them at the same time, if that makes any sense. But uh, Sai is kind of holding a right hand peek right here 
here. A uh, little bit dangerous, but he does end up getting the kill. Uh, he's just lucky that the opponent hit him for like 20 damage. One thing that I want to say really quickly about the new, like, the Batman Ninja Star things is you don't want to just throw them directly at your opponent. It's going to be a hard shot to hit uh, just because their travel time is pretty slow. What you're going to want to do, though, is get your opponent boxed up. So just spray them with your AR. They'll probably box up. And there's a lot of cool glitches you can do where you can throw the uh, Ninja Star into the corner of the box. You can shoot the Ninja Star and it will actually uh, explode through their builds and do damage. So just an FYI. Like, you're not going to want to do what that player did. Like, it's really, it's not that effective. That was just a waste of, like, five ninja stars right there. So one really cool trick that I actually saw is you can throw the ninja stars inside of the rift right here. And when someone goes into this rift, it'll actually blow up on them. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that or not. But that would have been a pretty good opportunity to use that as players are going to be using that rift to rotate to zone. He could have gotten a free kill. Honestly, that was a really easy snipe for uh, Tronkin. Uh, so GG's to him. Sai did not use, neither of these players actually use these bat stars very effectively. You're really going to want to put them in the corner of those one by ones and try to shoot them to do damage through opponents one by ones. So let's go ahead and see what Tronson does from here. There are only seven players left. I think Tronson just tried to shoot him with the grappler. Uh, obviously, didn't kill him. I feel like Tron should have just tried to kill the player a little earlier. He was kind of messing around, and he could have gotten one pumped, uh, or at least taken a ton of damage. And there is no siphon in regular pubs, so that could have been pretty dangerous for him. Uh, but GG's to Tron. He got an easy kill. That other player didn't seem super good. What I really like what Tron did is when he got his opponent weak by sniping him for 150 damage, he actually used the grappler to kind of close that distance ASAP before the opponent could heal up. That was a very good play. Um, what he could have done is he could have used it a little bit higher up to get natural high ground on his opponent opponent so that uh, he didn't really have to worry about the opponent getting down to high ground on him because uh, if that opponent was a little better Tron definitely could have lost. Tron's going to go ahead and launch pad to natural high ground. Uh, he's not in circle so the natural high ground is only going to be beneficial for him right now until he has to rotate to circle then he's going to have to hop off out of it. What I would have done personally is I would have just gone to the center of the next circle and just kind of built up from there. Looks like this player is actually going to contest him and I think this player is pretty decent so we'll go ahead and see what Tron can do. Tron almost trapped the player, but the player was too quick. A lot of traps going down, none of which are hitting. Oh! GG's to Vincent. Uh, a lot of traps were placed. Vincent has 16 kills. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of kills. There is one opponent left for Vincent. He looks like a very strong player. Uh, practically just W King anyone. What I wish is I wish these players were trying to, I guess, adapt to the current meta a little more by using some of those bat items. Uh, but, oh no. There's a, just a... Oh, this deep vault is built. We'll go ahead and see what Vincent does. Vincent does not look like he's taking it too seriously. He can easily predict where the opponent is going to go. He's playing it really slow and really calculated, which is probably the best way to play Fortnite. Really good edit by Vincent there. Uh, that edit is so strong because of his position, he had right peak the entire time. Uh, he had a really easy kill on the opponent, and that put Vincent at a 17 kill win. GG's to Vincent, and thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that, hit that sub button. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys would like to support me for free, please use code EXALTED in the item shop, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.